Uh, welcome to Easy Anatomy. I like to talk to you now about uh, the pathway of sensation from face, which uh, we can call it trigeminal, trigeminal pathway. The trigeminal pathway is the pathway which carries sensation from the face, from the face up to cerebral hemisphere, and this include pain, temperature, and touch as well as proprioception. So uh, why we call it trigeminal? Trigeminal this refer to cranial nerve number five, which is trigeminal nerve. So uh, trigeminal nerve has three divisions. Those three divisions, let us agree that the three divisions mostly are peripheral process of big ganglion located in the middle cranial fossa called the trigeminal trigeminal ganglion so this ganglion has three process one is called v1 which is ophthalmic and from the name you understand this coming from the eye and the area around the eye and the forehead so we call it v1 then v2 which we call it maxillary v2 and this is the maxillary one then the v3 which is mandibular mandibular when this is v3 or mandibular okay because it's bringing sensation from the area of the mandible and the mandibular teeth maxillary from the area of maxilla and the maxillary teeth and then V1 from the area of the orbit and also the forehead. So this is the trigeminal. So this is the preferred process. The central processes carrying a sensation and go to another level, which is this nuclei. We have three nuclei located through the whole length of brainstem and actually extend even to spinal cord. This nuclei, we call them, this is the first one we call it spinal nucleus, spinal trigeminal nucleus. The second one we call it main sensory nucleus, main sensory or principal nucleus, the main sensory or principal nucleus. Then the third one which we call it the mesencephalic nucleus because it is located in the midbrain. So mesencephalic okay so sensation being temperature let us focus on pain and, and temperature now pain and temperature carried by all the three division then they are going to as first order neuron to this nucleus the spinal trigeminal nucleus. So all of them, again, carrying the pain and temperature from the face, facial area, and then going to this spinal trigeminal nucleus. And then the second order neuron will cross the midline and cross the midline to the opposite side, <clears throat> then ascend as trigeminal lemniscus until it reaches to thalamus. And from the thalamus, so this is first order neuron, this is second order neuron, then the third order neuron coming from the thalamus and going to the lower part of the sensory area lower part of the sensory area. But which part of the thalamus? The VPM, the medial nucleus of the thalamus. If you remember, sensation coming from body below the head is going to lateral nucleus. So remember, this is the medial nucleus of the thalamus. <coughs> and now we're gonna call this tract trigeminal. lemniscus or 
sun time o kole trajimnu selamic password trajimnu selamic tract trajimnu selamic either one then how about touch the crude touch touch if we do touch with different color so the touch coming from the nerves again and is going to the main sensory nucleus main sensory nucleus then cross to the opposite side and follow the trigeminothalamic tract and again reach to thalamus and from the thalamus is going third order neuron to cerebral so this is touch and this is pain and the temperature okay one thing you need to pay attention to that usually touch can ascend it mainly go to the opposite side but also can send some fibers to the same side that's why it is hard to be lost if there is injury in this trigeminal meniscus in the left side okay you may lose pain and temperature in the right side of the face but touch is still to some extent preserved how about proprioception the proprioception if I ask you proprioception refer usually to the position of joints so which joints is located in the head area which joint located in the head area the quick answer is going to be what the quick answer is going to be TMG temporomandibular joint the temporomandibular joint its position will be recognized through different different pathway is unique little bit so if I ask you another question which nerve among the three divisions is it V1 or V2 or V3 supplying TMG? For sure, V3. So V3 is the one which is supply temporomandibular joint. Temporomandibular joint. Okay. So the V3, which we call it mandibular nerve, has motor fibers because it is the only motor or the only division of the three divisions it has motor fibers. If you remember, V1 is purely sensory, V2 is purely sensory, but V3 is mixed, has motor and sensory. So V3 has motor, which is supply muscles of mastication, and the sensory fibers bringing sensation from the TMG, and then ascend with mandibular nerve, passing through the trigeminal ganglion without a stop the first stop is going to be where in this nucleus so it does not stop in trigeminal ganglion that's why again this is, is going to stop in mesencephalic nucleus and the from there is going to cross to the opposite side crossing over the side and joining the other fibers and again is going to thalamus and from thalamus going to this one okay so this is very important again that uh, we need to remember that this proprioception fibers only carried by mandibular because it's bringing sensation from TMG however V1, V2 and V3 all of them carrying pain, temperature and the touch pain, temperature and touch when it comes to proprioception it makes sense that V3 is the one which is carrying proprioception is the one which is carrying proprioception okay and they're going to this nucleus which is the uppermost nucleus so at the end of the day we have this tract which you will call it again trigeminothalamic tract or trigeminal meniscus which carrying 
sensation from the opposite side of the face if this is left side so this tract carrying sensation coming from right side okay what is next the next thing I like to emphasize that also we call this spinal trigeminal it is trigeminal nucleus you need to keep in mind that we have other nerves carrying sensation to this nucleus other than trigem. What are those nerves? We will find that facial nerve also bringing sensation from the auricle or auricular region to spinal trigeminal nucleus. Glossopharyngeal nerve bringing also sensation to spinal trigeminal nucleus and the vagus nerve bringing general sensation also to spinal trigeminal nucleus okay so you need to keep in mind yes it is trigeminal nucleus especially this nucleus but here it is still receiving the pain and the temperature from facial area through facial nerve and from uh, pharyngeal uh, part through uh, glossopharyngeal and from larynx through vagus nerve okay okay so now uh, this is what we call it trigeminal pathway or a, a pathway of uh, facial sensation uh, how they reach to cerebral hemisphere and keep in mind is going to be the lower part lower part of the post central gyrus okay uh, before I leave you also I like to remind you that one abnormality related to trigeminal nerve we call it trigeminal trigeminal neuralgia trigeminal neuralgia so what is trigeminal neuralgia this is a kind of headache or a kind of severe pain this pain this pain you need to keep in mind uh, it is triggered by touch touching the area of the face and can be by brushing your teeth uh, shaving or even putting uh, applying makeup makeup okay so keep in mind that trigeminal neuralgia is a kind of severe pain which is triggered by touch shaving or uh, brushing your teeth one common cause of trigeminal neuralgia related to one of the arteries which are very closely related to trigeminal ganglion here is called the superior cerebellar artery it's called what superior cerebellar artery okay so when again so trigeminal Neuralgia. It is a kind of severe pain This pain which carried by V1 or V2 or V3 V1, V2 or V3 And again this pain can be triggered by touch if you remember, as I mentioned, there is big ganglion. This ganglion is called the word trigeminal ganglion. There is an artery related to this ganglion. It's called superior cerebellar artery. It's called the word superior cerebellar artery. This artery coming from basilar artery. So basilar artery is going to send this artery and very closely related to the ganglion okay this is basilar this is superior cerebellar from the name supplies the upper surface of cerebellum so the pulsation of this artery transmit to this ganglion and the trigger trigeminal neuralgia that's why one way to 
block this pain and uh, that triggered by the pulsation of this artery is to apply sponge here sometimes we call it decompression sponge or we do decompression in this way you can control this pain so please keep in mind this is one of the major abnormality of trigeminal pathway thank you